Hello everyone, welcome back to Lewat channel. So today I want to talk about Guardian the Return Demon King. So here for the passive, when using the block, deal neutral damage of the to the frontmost enemy. And then at the start of battle, the hero sits on his throne. The hero's special skill is changed to Lodge Pledge. Lodge Pledge, the hero's damage is increased by 50% and critical chance by 30% for 7 seconds. Ally heroes with the same armor and resistant values also receive the effects of Lodge Pledge. Duration is refreshed on repeated use. And with the Soba weapon added passive, when an enemy target with same armor and resistance value is hit by the hero's block skill, Lost Dilemma is activated, which deal neutral damage equal to 4500% 4, of the hero's attack power per hit to the enemy unit with the highest maximum HP. And then when Lost Pledge is dispelled, all allies' SP is increased by 100. So the important part is the Lost Pledge. We, this time, we have two parts. The hero's damage increased by 50% and critical chance by, by 30% for 7 seconds. So this one replaced the special skill. So you just make sure you put any special skill here. And then the second part here, ally heroes with the same armor and resistant values also receive the effect of Blotch Pledge. Uh, starting from this, we will split and guardian build be be between two so the first one if you just want to use guardian as the main dps and then the second one is you want to let your ally ally also receive the effect of large pledge which means they need to have the armor and resistance by normal mean that mean is only for the class trees and then the archer Archer, they have the same armor and resistance. Same with priest. But for the warrior, they have higher armor. Hunter, they have higher armor. And then wizard, they have higher resistance. So this one mainly between if you want to use with Kaede or not. Kaede can summon a clone. The clone will have 125% of the leader hero. Pomkoko receives 125% of the ally leader stats upon transformation. So if you want the Kaede's clone to receive Guardian's Lodge Pledge, that means we need to design Lodge Pledge build to have same armor and resistance. So they discover that the armor and resistance, they still have a tolerance margin of error around just one, between one. So we have couple ways to, re to get that equal armor and resistance, depending how much you have buried. If you, let's say you already buried everything including the resistance, that means you need to have another build. This one we using zero berry on resistance. With that we need to use this sigil armor 675. With that we can get the equal armor and resistance. But let's say you have because my video is too late or you just simply bury everything to max then you are stuck with one build which you need another sigil. For that one, you will need to use. Hmm, let's see. You need to use Indigo Steel Plate, armor 550, and then you also need to use Armor Ring, the maximum value Armor Ring. One hundred eighty-four armor, armor. You need to use armor one hundred eighty-four with that indigo steel plate five hundred fifty. That way, you can still get the same armor and resistance at the max berry, assuming you are at the max inheritance. 
then the next thing is the build they you can be either double critical chance or the double critical damage depending which team you are using if you are using the team that without much critical chance buff like kaede haruki or kaede sphera then you will need to use the two critical chance because at the challenge there is minus 50 critical chance uh, the critical chance resistance so we need to minus 50 critical chance from guardian that means we need to get 40 here and then we have another 30 from here and then we use Aubrey for more buff but let's say you don't want to pair with Kaede you want to use other hero like uh, maybe the budget one you wudong hala or you want to use like Haruki Rani that for that one you can use uh, double critical damage like this one so we pair with the attack power and then the attack power with HP sigil for easier surviving for the ring if you are using if you are not the max buried then you can use the critical chance and the accuracy or life st or using the resurrection ring if you sometimes feel your guardian will die if you don't have the critical chance ring or resurrection ring or you must using the armor ring then you can use then you can replace this attack power for the attack power and hp sigil like the warm heart this one warm heart attack power and maximum hp or the lower one human play mass attack power maximum hp then for the for the sigil you need eh, for the sigil accessories for the accessories, you want the attack power, 100% attack power, and then premium generate one block and then generate one special block. So let's do a showcase. Let's say we use Guardian, Haruki, and then Kaede. Kaede will be using Smart of the Goddess for the damage reduction, and then Haruki will be using Blood Donation for the damage buff. For the build, this one using just damage reduction, uh, resurrection ring. If you don't have, then use the triple damage reduction, lifestyle ring, to keep Kaede alive. And then, also the same, generate one block, generate one special block, premium one. This one I just put any random uh, leftovers accessories you have. This one is recover the ally HP. Then from Haruki, we'll be using the full attack power. If we have the new 6 star one, then you can use attack power 1750. Then the ring using the restoration ring. Also the same, you want to use the generate one special skill and then generate one block. For goddess, we'll be using Aubrey to extend the buff. And then France for the critical chance, eh, the, for the critical damage buff. Then we'll be using the level 1 skill. Because this one, upon using the champion active skill, all uh, ally heroes will immediately use their 3 chain block skill. Because Guardian usually will be spamming 1 chain. So we want the champion to deal the, to make them use 3 chain for the critical damage buff. Then we try here, delegate.
So for this second stage, we might have problem with using this team setup because we could be lacking about the accuracy since we need to use resurrection ring. But let's show you this because right currently we are using the accuracy ring. But we might have problem with the boss one shot us. But with the accuracy ring, it will let us to kill Joan more consistent. So if you want to farm this with Guardian, you probably want to use different team, like the Haruki Rani, and then using a different weapon build. So here we can see that Guardian died. When you want to use the Haruki Rani, then you want to use the double critical damage build instead. And then for the CGR, you can use two of the HP attack CGR. So you can run accuracy ring and still can survive the attack from the boss, especially from Leon. So this time, I change it to the Resurrection Ring and we'll see how much it affects the fight against Joan. Now you can see that there is a lot of miss. This is a lot slower than before with the accuracy ring. So if you want to farm this stage, I don't recommend using this team. Then next, let's try with a more budget one. Let's say you don't have uh, Haruki, Kaide, and you also don't have the premium accessories. We can start with the uh, Yobudong, Hala, and then Gordian. But for this one, since we don't need to use clone for the Gordian, then we can use the double critical damage build. So here we'll be using Yo Wudong and Hala. Yo Wudong with a smile, special skill, and then Hala with the protection of the goddess. This one works for the first stage, second stage, but for the last stage, you want to lead Guardian instead. Because for the Victoria fight, Victoria will debuff us and, on, and only allow leader to deal damage. 
So if you're using your Wudong as a leader, then you can't deal any damage. For the champion, we can use uh, France level 0 skill. So for the conclusion, Gordian is worth it to get it, good for the new player also. I guess that's it for today, bye bye.